This is a, Ma a Maytag washing machine. It's model numbered A882. And I found this in the trash this morning. Uh, there was another, uh, that was a Kenmore dryer that was sitting on the side of it at the same garbage. And usually if somebody throws away both, either one or the other has to be good. And I thought of scrapping this because I just picked them up for scrap, but since it was a Maytag, I made an exception. And so far so good, I put it on the spin cycle. And when, you, when I put it on the spin cycle, the timer moves, so I know that's good. And now I'm running it through a cycle of its own. I got the garden hose hooked up to the, got the garden hose hooked up to this cold terminal. And then I took my uh, flush and fill cap on my GMC van and I put it on a hot terminal temporarily because if you don't got it capped, it'll start leaking, the water will start leaking out. But yeah, so far so good. The timer works great. The water level works good. I had it on small and now I got it on uh, extra large so I know it's filling up all right. And uh, there's no leaks in the drum. The drum's sweating a little bit, because, probably, probably because uh, the water's ice cold in the drum. And uh, there's no pump leaks. And yeah, the seal leak underneath the, the drum, it's pretty solid. And uh, this thing looks like it has a newer motor in it. And that's cool. Yeah, I, I, I rarely see old Maytags found in the garbage. We got, one in, we got one in our basement that's a 1984. My mom got it when I was like 10 years old, back in 1984, and that thing still runs good. It's noisy as hell, the cabinet's rusty, but that thing will run forever. It probably has as much miles as my GMC van, like maybe even more than that. But I'll give it, I'll show you the inside. Yeah, I got my work clothes in there. I'm burning it through a cycle and it's filling up. This is at uh, extra large, like extra large load now. Yeah, there's no leaks. And uh, underneath the underneath the uh, underneath the washer, I put a piece of cardboard, and there's no like uh, no uh, drips or anything, so everything's perfect. So I think that Kenmore dryer was a piece of shit that was thrown in the garbage, and they just decided to get a new pair. The people that threw this out and. Uh, the washer was probably good to begin with, so they just replaced both both the washer and dryer. To, uh, so, because everybody wants things reliable, but these uh, old Maytag washing machines, they last forever. I see brand new Maytags mostly in the garbage, newer Maytags, but these older ones are rare, I rarely see. They last forever. And, uh, yeah. Pretty sweet. It's missing the uh, it's missing the fabric softener cup in there. Maybe I could find one. But it's a good money maker. I'll run it through a couple more cycles just to make sure it's running okay. But I have a feeling this thing it was nothing had nothing wrong with it to begin with. It was probably just a dryer that was a piece of shit, and they just decided to buy a new pair and throw the old pair out. So uh, yeah, Maytag model eight A. 882. I think it's probably a 1984 or 19, no, a 1985 or a 1986 model. Because our 1984 model has the wood grained uh, wood grain bezel on the front, and the, the 84 model had uh, push button uh, load size buttons. This one is a slider. So yeah, so far so good. No leaks, no nothing. Works perfect. And I'll conclude this demonstration. Yeah, it's going on. I'll conclude this demonstration in a second. Working great. See all that soapy water running down the alley? Yeah. So far, so good. And I'll conclude this demonstration. Goodbye, all, and have a nice day.